I guess my question is, if you uh, achieve moksha, is that an eternal um, state? Or can you come back and, you know, can you uh, accumulate karma um, in, in a state of moksha? Uh, moksha means dissolution. Dissolution means where to come back, no coming back. There are no different states of enlightenment, it is just that there are different states of evolution towards enlightenment. For most beings, their moment of enlightenment and moment of leaving the body is same. You looked at all this, I think. So, uh, why is it it's come to this moment for me to see these things? <clears throat> it could have been seen any time. But, you know, out of season things don't bloom. Even now, all of you have been sitting here in the same space. I am attending to all of you to the same way, but still all of you are not imbibing this to the same extent. For some people, it's like, you know, it's life transforming, absolutely. For some people, it's good. For some people, it's nice. For some people, off and on, it's nice. The same thing is being offered. It's just their ability to imbibe it. So, right now, we can see this also. Either you can use this as a tool towards your moksha right now, or you can use this as a process of hastening your evolution. Both are possible. Whichever way you use it, it's fine, it's… it takes you slowly there. Either you can go right away or you can go slowly there. <laughs>